it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So pag-uusapan natin ang kauna-unahang smartphone ng taong 2023. Quick throwback lang if you guys remember last year, bumalik ang Honor sa Philippines. And they produced quite a lot of products already ranging from budget mid-range, and even up to their Magic series, or yung kanilang pinaka-flagship. And today's video is all about Honor's latest premium budget smartphone, the Honor X9 A 5G. Bakit nga ba interesting, guys, itong unang smartphone na mapag-uusapan natin ngayon? It's because this time, display ang pinagmamalaki niya. Alam niyo naman from the previous years, smartphones below 20,000 pesos are either gaming or camera centric. Before we talk about yung kanyang display, pag-usapan muna natin yung kanyang pricing. The moment that you guys are watching this video, it's already available sa market priced at 16,990 pesos na merong 8 plus 256 gig of storage. By January 20 to February 3, guys, start na yung kanyang pre-order at makakakuha kayo ng free Honor Earbuds X3 Lite worth 3,999 pesos. Available siya sa Home Credit, Lazada, Shopee, and TikTok Shop. All links kung saan kayo pwede makapag-purchase ng bagong smartphone ng Honor will be down in the description box. So, premium tough display. Actually, marami tayong pwedeng i-associate sa term na premium. You all have probably seen some of the features this phone can offer online. And yung tumatak talaga sa isip ko, guys, is yung sinasabi nilang sobrang tough nga daw ng display ng smartphone na ito. Which is usually yung tough display ina-associate lang natin or yung nakikita sa mga flagship smartphones talaga. Honor mentioned that they are using a deeply enforced glass na kung saan mas increased yung toughness ng kanyang yung display as compared to other mid-range devices. They have their own engineered premium tempered glass that makes it ultra tough. So yup, when it comes to screen durability, hindi kayo magkakaroon ng issue. It also has a 6.67 inches of OLED curved display. It's an OLED curved display. Inuulit ko lang because you won't get a smartphone priced at 17,000 pesos almost na mayroong curved OLED display. As someone who reviews smartphones and big deal ang pagkakaroon ng maganda at appealing na display, this is such a turn on to me. It also has an almost bezel-less kind of look. Don't worry guys, kahit na medyo may pagka-curved yung kanyang display, hindi naman sobra-sobra, katulad ng mga nakikita nyo before. And meron din siyang anti-mistouch algorithm. Aside from this, it also has a 120Hz screen refresh rate. And we all know to most mid-range devices, bihirang-bihira tayo magkaroon ng ganito kataas na refresh rate. It also comes with 10-bit color gamut and a TUV Rainland Low Blue Light Certification. Kung i-describe ko yung overall quality ng kanyang display, guys, napakaganda. In fairness, naman. Strictly talking about the display, bago sa experience ko na maka-encounter ng ganito considering again yung kanyang price point. I also enjoyed watching some Netflix movies here lalong lalo na na hindi nga masyadong halata yung kanyang bezels because of its curved OLED display. And since we're talking about bench watching guys, I noticed na single speaker lang yung meron tayo sa kanya. So yung yeah, medyo na compromise lang tayo when it comes to audio considering that it's a 2023 phone. But again, it is loud enough and okay naman siya again for everyday bench watching. So design wise, I know unique Unique in terms of other mid-range devices na nahawakan na natin from the last quarter of 2022. But again, the design is not that new dahil nakita nga natin siya sa isang specific flagship device. Alam kong alam nyo na yun. Not that it's bad, actually I like it. It brings a whole new look sa mga smartphones na priced at this point. And the smartphone that I am currently reviewing right now is in emerald green, but also available in titanium silver. Also considering how big the battery this phone has, in fairness naman guys, Amnipis lang niya and hindi siya mabigat. So indeed, if you are looking for a slim and lightweight smartphone, to be specific, 7.9mm thick lamang at 175 grams, this is definitely worth considering. Also, I like the fact that we have a matte finish at the back. In fairness guys, kahit na 
blue or darker shade ng smartphone nila ang meron ako, it's not that obvious. I'm talking about my smudges dahil pasmado ako most of the time. All of the buttons like the volume rockers and power button is located on the right side. Yung ating IR blaster and secondary mic is on top. Of course, yung ating SIM tray, USB-C, and yung kanyang single firing speaker is located below. Speaking of the SIM tray, duwasan naman guys yung Honor X9A 5G. It's just that it's not expandable storage. So yep, you guys are stuck at 256GB. It's not that it's not enough. To most people, sakto lang ang 256GB. To some, they still prefer to use a micro SD card. Actually, overall, wala akong problema sa design niya. It's compact. Again, it's also lightweight. Siguro, ang nakikita ko lang na problema most of the time is, of course, yung cameras niya. It gets smudges easily and kailangan siyang punasan every time na mag-take ako ng photos. But yeah, since nasa usapang cameras na rin naman tayo, kamusta ba ang kanyang quality? Honor X9A 5G camera setup is a triple matrix AI vision camera. Meron itong 64 megapixels f1.8 aperture, meron din itong 5 megapixels wide angle camera, and a 2 megapixels macro camera. And of course, for selfies, we got a 16 megapixels. Okay, so what can I say about its camera performance? Medyo matagal ko nang ginagamit itong Honor X9A 5G. Mapaumaga man yan or mapagabi. Actually, photos produced by its 64 megapixels are great. Usable sa lang mapa social media man yan. Okay din ang contrast and even yung skin tone natin is true to life. Now, looking at the photos of its 5 megapixels ultra-wide camera, napansin ko when it comes to low light, nabawasan yung kanyang quality compared to its main camera. Buti na lang guys, naging okay na kahit papano yung results niya pagdating ng umaga. It has more detail and colors now. Now, when it comes to videos, we are capped at 1080p resolution. This is for the rear camera and even for its front camera. It also doesn't come with any stabilization, but so far, okay naman yung mga videos the Honor X9 a 5G took. Now, let's talk about the performance. Ito medyo mixed feelings naman yung meron ako sa kanya. The Honor X9 a 5G has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 na merong 6 nanometer. Meron din itong 8GB plus 256GB of storage na expandable up to 5GB of RAM through Honor RAM Turbo. Well, Snapdragon 695 guys, alam naman natin, it still is a good day-to-day -day chipset. Pwede pang gaming but definitely not for heavy gamers. And I also noticed na it's more than enough to handle yung mga everyday task na ginagawa ko. Yun nga lang mo, titignan natin yung kanyang presyo, medyo hindi siya bagay. Buti na lang din, meron tayong 8GB of RAM sa kanya na mas nakatulong mapabilis yung opening of applications natin and switching between applications kahit na medyo mas matagal na natin siyang nabuksan. In fairness naman, when it comes to its user interface, I like how stable it is. Wala itong ads masyado at ang pinaka-importante, ay meron siyang Google. Alam ko guys, maraming nagtatanong din kasi sa aking TikTok account, even on Instagram, kung may Google ba siya. Huwag kayong mag dahil meron. Now, in terms of battery, nakakatawa dahil ulitin ko, it has 5,100 mAh of battery capacity, which gave me a solid 2 days of battery life. We are also getting a 40 watt power brick inside the box. And at around 47 minutes lang, na fully charge ko agad itong Honor X9A 5G. Alam nyo, kung i-consider natin yung pricing ng Honor X9A 5G, para sa akin, sulit naman siya. It is a stylish smartphone that offers a durable and eye-pleasing display at long-lasting din yung kanyang battery life. Smart choice siya sa mga consumers na priority ang pagkakaroon ng matibay at eye-pleasing na display. Pwede na for casual gamers and everyday media. Now, if I were to rate guys yung kanyang camera performance and even yung kanyang gaming, I can say na average sila. So yes, may market pa rin naman talaga ang Honor X9A 5G. And I think isa ako doon because of its premium display under 20,000 pesos. So yup, that's basically it guys for today's review. Let me know kung meron pa kayong smartphones na gusto nating mapag-usapan sa mga susunod na araw. Again, it's your tech girl Mary and see you on our next video. Bye guys!